Well, family, thank you for coming in this afternoon to see what I got to talk about. Yeah, I said Orlando Brown is up there again, speaking facts, speaking foolishness, and we just have to decipher which one it is, okay? Because he, sometimes he come out and tells good stuff that's straight to the point. Then there's other times where he just go beating around the bush and see if we just going to catch it, okay? But he's pretty much talking about um, YSL and the RICO charge that they still got held on them, but he says YSL, uh, young, is it young folk? I'm not really quite sure now, <laughs> but either or, he said that that is really Jaleel White, which is Urkel. Oh, that's how we know him as playing the character Urkel in uh, Family Matters. Okay, and then he's saying some stuff about Sammy Davis Jr. and his body being used by Urkel. So he, he's, he's wilding. He's wilding, y'all. But like I said, in some of his wild attributes and his character, sometimes he be telling the truth, I do believe. But like I said, it's up to us to determine which truth is what. And can we believe it all together? But in Hollyweird... Most people know it as Hollywood. Anything can happen, and it usually does. But let's go on in and see what he had to talk about. He's been interviewed by I don't know who, okay? But they were um, hitting on some pretty good temperatured questions that could have went either way. It could have been bad. It could have been good. We just really don't know until it comes out of his mouth. Mean Orlando Brown, but let's not tear it too long. Let's go on and get into that video. Yeah, that's my boy. That's that's Jaleel. That is not who you think it is. I definitely see pictures of you guys hanging out. Then that body belongs to Sammy Davis Jr. So, guess that's all the way. Nip in the butt there. <laughs> So it's just a wild, wild thing going on. Wild now. thing going on. They're just trying to find a person that's not even there. Okay. Well, how do you think things are going to turn out for Young Doug? Or Steve Urkel? There you go. Young Doug is still fighting his Rico case. Oh, man. But what I just learned... Is that when one of his homeboys, when they raided his house, they raided his house. He was a YSL member and he was arrested in the middle of a goat sacrificing ritual. Yeah. That's what the police are saying. Young Thug is Jaleel White. You know, it matters. Steve Urkel. Right. Yeah. Okay. So they got Steve Urkel in jail right now fighting Rico. Not no more. Not no more. Okay. I just said that free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. That's that's Jaleel. That is not who you think it is. I definitely see pictures of you guys hanging out. And that body belongs to Sammy Davis Jr. So Guess that's all the way. Nip to the butt there. <laughs> so it's just a wild, wild thing going on. Wild there. thing going on. They're just trying to find a person that's not even there. Okay. Well, how do you think things are going to turn out for Young Doug? Or Steve Urkel? There you go. Young Doug. So see? <laughs> He's talking about somebody, I guess, being possessed and not being possessed anymore. He's talking about uh, Urkel is really um, Young Thug. And I'm like, okay, well, who who is occupying Young Thug then? Body. Since we got Young Thug body, you saying it's Urkel, Steve Urkel. Well, I guess I should say who's occupying Steve Urkel or Jaleel White's body. We didn't get that far. It's like I said, it's all could look like conspiracy theories going on with a little mixture of the truth, okay? And then we set it on off. But that's pretty much what we got for us the interview that he was doing with Steve Urkel. 
Don't ask me who we're doing the interviewing because I don't know. But let's get into these comments because a lot of you all had something to say about it. And, of course, we want y'all to sound off in the comments down below once the video has ended in its entirety. Okay? Beautiful 211 says, my toxic trait is I believe everything he says. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? And they got 2,190 hearts. So a lot of people were agreeing with what, even though how spacey it sounded and outrageous, people are believing Orlando Bloom. I mean, Orlando Brown. Okay. Uh, the beauty T dot VU said, let me ask you all this. If you walked among the elite and learned secrets that the government would put you down for exposing as it has done many others who tried, would you A, tell the truth in plain English to the masses as yourself in sound mind and body, or B, play into a psychotic role and act crazy while speaking in covert riddles and parables that the majority of spiritually enlightened beings can decode? Or do you all just still think life is only a physical experience? Very well thought out. Very well thought out. And more to dialogue on that if anybody wants to get down in the comments. Okay? Because when you really think about it, we are all in a meat suit, walking around, and a spirit is possessing it. Be it good or bad, we all are considered spirits. So I understand that. We're going to move on. 410 Fresh said, the goat sacrifice went over y'all heads, though. Future being being there, 101 said, I remember when he said Diddy gave him that gush god, umba gash. So, was him and P. Diddy intimate? It, may, it leaves one to ponder, doesn't it? It leaves one to ponder. Um, Door West says, laughing my ass off, I still think about how he said, Soldier Boy is Whitney Houston. I haven't <laughs> recovered from that yet. Now, this, okay. Hmm. Soldier Boy is Whitney Houston. Okay, soldier boy, I, I can't see it, I can't, because unless she wanted to come back to Atlanta, and soldier boy is originally from Atlanta, uh, so that, does that mean she's in her New Jersey home, or is she in her Atlanta home that they had in Seoul? Makes you wonder, makes you wonder, okay, um, uh, let me see, Gouda, Good of God zero zero said this is nuttier than a three layer German chocolate cake. And you know what? Me and my mom just got finished talking about getting us a uh, German chocolate cake uh, for the holiday. Wow! So that must be it. Must be meant for me to uh, look and see who can bake it for me, huh? All right, got off a little track. Got off the track a little bit. We're getting back on. Uh, Debo 1990 said, that's ladies and gents, how you speak to the police. Okay, the police was interviewing him? I don't think so. Okay, Candy305 said, I'm so confused. So Young Thug is Steve Urkel using Sammy Davis Jr. body, or am I still off? Good observation. I think you pinpointed what he had said. Ah, oh, do we believe it? It's up to you. It's up to you. Okay, impressive the India wait a minute. Impressive Impress Indigo Indigo, I'm sorry, Impress Indigo two said, Ain't shit wrong with him. That's the funny part. Mm. Okay. Abundantly enriched organics says he said something on a post that stuck with me. Only because I experienced it in the spiritual and physical. I do not for one second believe that this man is crazy he is not crazy he has a spiritual eye and can see people don't understand certain spiritual things and this man speaks what god has god has him to expose you see nobody has taken his life for the thing he exposes god has a hedge of 
uh, has a hedge around him, mean a hedge of protection, I believe he's trying to say. Um, they just excuse his actions because these people want others to believe that he's crazy or not wrapped too tight, as they would say. But Orlando knows, and his voice is being used to expose the wickedness. Orlando is a watchman. God ain't finished with him yet. Cover him, the Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Okay. I can concur. I can concur um, with that. Jesus used the worst of us to get his point across uh, and be able to save souls. So I, I concur with that. Um, we got Pillsbury Doughboy said, I love how he say the most outlandish, wildest shit and act like it's regular. Like this is all common knowledge. All right. Frankie Dadon said, what's crazy is what if he's telling the truth, just throwing it out there in plain sight because everyone's going to say, no way, he's crazy. Yep, that's what most people will say about somebody that's speaking on Hollywood. Yeah, but I want you to get my thing. That's why I said you bring my pocketbook down, that brown. Okay, that was my daughter. She's leaving now. Um, and she just disturbed me for a moment. Ah, let's see. Let's see. Lala Vache underscore man said, trying to find a person that's not even there is the T. This man is not crazy. Okay. Uh, Nosh Leap said, he knows something, believe me. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Um, real J, a real Jew. He's not crazy. He's playing the game like he is. That's why they haven't got him yet. Y'all better wake up and pay attention. Okay. Darius Logan said, laughing my ass off. He said that goat sacrifice worked just fine. Okay. Um, uh, skills 215 said, nah, young thug free. He's sex red now. <laughs> okay. Mr. Johnson had this to say. I really hate to sit in front of God and he say, y'all was really ignoring my messages from Orlando Brown. I know that's right. Have some discernment is all I can say. Have and ask for discernment. Okay, we got Squeezy. Um, she said, there's going to come a day where we find out Orlando Brown told us 100% of the truth, but the media made him out to be crazy. Okay, y'all, Coley, Young Thug is Steve Urkel because both are characters and not the real person. Both he, but he's also Sammy Davis Jr. because Sammy Davis Jr. was a Satanist and was involved in satanic rituals. Google it for yourself and thank me afterwards. Okay, I think that I'll put that in my video. Uh, to some degree, I think he tried to break free of the satanic cult at the latter part of his life. But, you know, maybe it could have been a smoke screen. Oh, we never know. But put your opinions down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this video on this topic, okay? And I'll get back with you in another video. But right now, I gotta go. Remember to subscribe. Bye-bye.